Hello, this is Todd Luck, and this is a review of the figures of John Carter of Mars and Omad Zad the Thark from Tarzan the Epic Adventures. This was a line by Trend Masters in the 1990s, and this is a two pack of smaller figures. And I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the packaging and then open it up. And you can see this packaging is gorgeous and it doesn't sit well. It's not made to like sit level if you just lay it down like that. But it looks great if you hang it up. The, and uh, the card back is just beautiful. I love the big old Tarzan symbol there. And then, you know, on the back you have all the different figures and toys in the line and this figure is worth two Tarzan points so there you go we always need Tarzan points I'm sure I can redeem those uh, you know 20 some years later <laughs> if anyone knows what you did with Tarzan points in this line let me know I'm very very curious all right so let's go ahead and open this up so um, it is sealed all the way around glued to the card. So I'm going to lose some of this as I open it. I'm just going to use my old school opening skills here. So I don't know if you can pick it up on camera, but there's just little metal ring in, in the bottom here. And I'm not sure what in the world this is for, but it prevents you from fully opening the top. So I'm having to open it from, I mean, op fully opening the bottom. So I'm having to open the top here. So, yeah, oh, painful as it is. Yeah, that's pretty much the only way this is going to work. So, all right, and I got my figures. So, there's my Thark Omad Zad. And here is John Carter, the Warlord of Mars. So, there we go. So here are the figures and everything they come with. And as you can see right off the bat, they are standing. There is no problem getting them to stand. They are very stable, unlike that Taurus Tarkas figure that took a bit of effort to get him to balance that I reviewed last time. He was a six inch, uh, well, five inch figure. So he's a little bigger than these guys, but these guys are made to stand on their own. So let's take a look at what we got. This, my friends, is John Carter of Mars. And this is the only mass market figure of John Carter. So um, there is like a super expensive uh, figure that's like 12 inches tall, it's several hundred dollars um, that came out in recent years. But this is the only one you can like go to a shelf and buy and that you can get for a reasonable amount. And as you can see, it's nicely detailed. He's got, you know, jewels and gold you know, all over. This is, you know, this is very in keeping with the novel. You know, sometimes, you know, he's portrayed as just having straps. Sometimes, you know, there's armor thrown in there, loincloth, etc., cape. Yeah, all this is fine. <laughs> this is very in keeping, very what I would expect. Let's see for articulation. Um, kids, I don't think that head's moving. <sighs> is that head moving? I think it moves a little bit. It's very, wow, it's incredibly hard to move. So, um, I don't know if that's the age of the figure. It is a very old figure. Um, his arms, however, do move. So, his arms will move, you know, hindered by, obviously, the shoulder pad, but that's pretty natural. Um, these are, you know, his body and his legs are sculpted together. So, that is one package right there. So no articulation in the legs. The cape is sculpted on, it's non-removable. And his armor is obviously sculpted on, so that's not removable. So he comes with two accessories. Let's see how well he holds these. So we had some issues with the, the six inch, the five inch figures uh, having loose grips on their weapons. Oh no. This, this is super tight. He has a very, very good grip on this. And it fits very naturally in his hand. Okay, so that's a, that's a definite improvement over the five inchers. 
So let's see what happens with the gun here. I'm actually really curious if this is going to work. Uh, let's see here. Get you in there. The hands are very tight, so it's that that works. My goodness, that that children, he can hold his weapons. That is fantastic. Um, I don't know if I have them in, quite in the right hands. No, that looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah, he looks looks all right. But uh, obviously, I could probably switch it. Might have it'll probably have a more natural position on the gun. But yeah, that looks really cool. Okay, so John Carter, he stands, he holds his weapons, he has moving arms and a kind of moving head. So let's take a look at our Thark here. This is Ozad Mad, or Omad Zad, I'm sorry. I'm probably never gonna get this poor guy's name right, but he's just a kind of a random Thark that challenged John Carter uh, in the novels, if I remember correctly. Um, nothing too major he's got moving arms and he can rotate the bottom arms so that's pretty cool so you have four arms that are articulated in some manner his head is one uh, solid piece with his body as are his legs and his and just like John Carter, his cape is sculpted on. But you can see some of the kind of really nice, you know, detailing you get here. Um, you know, stuff that you would expect with a Thark. Nice mus muscle tone and all that good stuff. Let's see here. Okay, so he can hold... Uh... I don't know. Let's just see about how he holds any of his weapons. Ah, okay. So we had our first slippage. All right. So, okay. So the story with this sword is I also have Deja Thoris, right? And this sword comes with her. So I'm wondering if that's why it's so loose in his hand. That's a definite possibility. Whoop. <laughs> see, it just falls right out. So... It, he does get a grip on it. It didn't look good in his hand, though. So, let's see here. This is a kind of a softer, rubbery sword here. So, after some struggle, I found out that his left hands are actually very tight and good for holding weapons, and they look great in his hands. His right hands, however, are gripped more loosely, so they hold weapons more, more loose. And one last thing it does come with is this metal or I guess badge, I believe it calls it. So it does have a clip on it that you could like wear it at like a badge if you wanted. I'm not sure why, but it's a pretty cool display item. I wish it said something specifically about Barsoom or Mars on it, but it's still pretty cool to have, you know, the Tarzan medal in red here. It looks very nice and, you know, th these hold up real well. I've still got mine from the original Tarzan figure I bought in the 90s and it still looks just as good today as it did back then and just to compare the weapons uh, this is the one that came with the five inch Tars Tarkas figure and this is the one that ca came with uh, Omad Zad and so as you can see they look very similar but it is a different sculpt this handles a little smaller so they are a different sculpt for these weapons however the weapons for the larger figures can fit into the hands of these little ones. So that's a great option if you're looking to, you know, give this guy some more weapons. So right now he's holding this one, which is from the 5-inch Tars Tarkas, and also this one, which is also from the 5-inch Tars Tarkas figure, which looks pretty darn cool. So I think these figures look really good. Uh, they have limited posability, but I think as far as, you know, the positions you'd want them in, in to pose, uh, if you're a collector or, you know, playing with them as a child, I think they're great. The only detractor is that a Thark should be way, way larger than John Carter. Uh, you know, Omad Zad should be twice as tall as John Carter. Uh, obviously, he is not. He looks great on his own, but put together with 
another figure in the line. He is way, way shorter than he should look. But I think that's fine. You know, obviously compromises had to be made to get a forearm figure into this line. And so that's understandable. He looks great on his own. But here's that little John Carter figure with that five inch Taurus Tarkas figure I reviewed in my previous video. And holy smokes, do they look perfect together. This is exactly what they should look like. And so it's really great to find this compatibility between the smaller figures in the line and the uh, five inch Taurus Tarkas. And there's also a smaller figure of Deja Thoraz that I suspect will look just as perfect when posed with Taurus Tarkas and John Carter here. And so the question is, what scale is John Carter on? And so we can see he's clearly not on a five or 5.5 inch scale. We have Tarzan on his right, which is from the same line, except it's a five inch figure. And we have Hordak on his left, who is from Masters of the Universe, which is on that famous 5.5 inch scale. So they're clearly larger than John Carter here. He also doesn't appear to be on a three and three quarter inch scale. This is him with a couple Star Wars figures. While he's about their height, he is not on the same scale as them. So here he is with some, some superhero figures from the 80s and early 90s. So he appears to be about their scale. So if he stood up, he would be about their height. He's a little under four inches. He's probably a, exactly three and three quarter inches tall. But, you know, it's his thickness, you know, the size of his muscles and stuff that prevents him from being uh, on the same scale as Star Wars. But if he stood up straight, he would be their exact height, which is about 4.5 inches. So he looks to be modeled after this scale, which I'm not even sure if it is even made anymore. Um, this, these are, again, you know, kind of older superhero figures. So there you have it. Very happy to add these to my collection. I think they look great, whether you're buying them for a child who, you know, likes John Carter, or if you want to have like the only mass market John Carter figure in existence on your shelf, here you go. Um, there's plenty more in this line and I will be reviewing several more figures and so, uh, several more toys. So like and subscribe for more videos and until next time, I'll see ya.